Amen to this. All right, this is to uh, Marjorie Taylor, Taylor Green. there. Uh, you're well known for making controversial statements. Detail your process for vetting and fact-checking your statements that you make in public and post to social media. Can you tell me what's controversial, controversial about defending this, the freedom of speech or what's controversial about um, defending our border or saying we need to, what, can you tell me, give me an example? No, you do this every time we have a debate where you a I ask a, a question that's obvious and you're like, what do you mean? You were kicked off of your committees for saying things were controversial. You've apologized for controversial statements, right? Those types of things. What is your process for fact checking and vetting the things that you say in public? I, the, the things I say in public are the truth, and that's why they're so offensive to Democrat activists in the media just like you. And you're asking me a blanket question with no example. I stand by the things that I say. I stand by saying that we need to secure our border, that we need to protect all of our freedoms and our rights, that we need to stop the America last Democrat communist policies that are destroying our country. I stand by the words that I say. They're just offensive to Washington, D.C. and the swamp creatures there, because the words that I I speak are the same as, as Americans back home, the same as people in Georgia's 14th district. And the words that I speak are the truth. And you want to know something, Josh? Sometimes the truth hurts. And Washington deserves to hear it. We're over $31 trillion in debt. Our government has failed the American people. And right now, this administration has us on the verge of a nuclear war with Russia, where they care more about funding a war in Ukraine than they care about protecting Americans, helping homeless people on the streets, and securing our border and stopping fentanyl from killing young people in America. Yo, you can say whatever you want about this lady. This is the reason why people love her. She's passionate and she believes in what she's saying. Let's go Marjorie Taylor Greene. Good job. She's doing the Lord's work.